well good morning and welcome to this marsh reviews and tutorials video i am happy today a lot of people have seen my uh saltwater coronator videos that i'll put up online with the k core coronator absolute brilliant unit and heaps and heaps of them are now out in the field doing a great job i for a long time have not sold probably the last five to eight years i have not sold acid feeders this is an acid feeder, something that will test the acid level of the pool and dose acid as it is appropriate. The reason being, because as a pool serviceman, just forever, I was involved in finding broken acid feeders. Feeders that were overfeeding, particularly the, the very main brand, a big brand, black box, let's just run with that. If the unit failed, it would pump out the entire contents of your drum. So you could find yourself pumping 15 litres of acid into a swimming pool and making it just super acidic. Yes, I've had phone calls from parents saying, my kids bathers were bleached, what's going on? I go out there and check it, the pH is just bright yellow, reading super duper low, and the acid drum is empty. And the machine has faulted and just pumped all of the acid out. Just absolutely not a good solution. So, what do we got here? This is the pH mate. Uh, I'm Mark from Nillamick Pool and Spa Service. I also now run Pool and Spa Supplies Australia. Pool and Spa Supplies Australia is all about finding good equipment and supplying it all over Australia and New Zealand. Check out here, Australian made, Australian owned, this unit here. I finally found one that I can recommend. This is uh, a great little unit. As I said, Australian made, and it's an acid feeder pump, but there's so many safeties. I love a product when people have really thought about it, put some time into it, and have come up with a good product. Th let's just have a look at some of this. This has got a flow switch on it. What that means, when this is plumbed into the system, listen to the, hear that click. When the water's flowing, that is gonna press across as a matter of fact, look up here, no flow, not dosing. So when the pump's not on, this thing will not feed acid. So it's not going to put a super concentrated lot of acid in when the pump's not running. No other acid feeder I know about monitors whether the pump's on or not. This has got this so that you watch that no flow. I turn the flow switch on. Well, I haven't got the probe plugged into it yet. That's why it's saying probe C manual. Forget the pH4. It's also not got a reading because the probe isn't plugged in. So there's a flow switch on it. So it's only going to operate and pump its acid when the pump's on this is the injection point here comes in the bottom this is the probe here and again this is tried and tested doing a good job and a reliable probe and not so super duper expensive like some other brands are as well now the safeties that they've put in place this actually has daily limits and weekly limits as to how much acid it'll pump so that whole scenario of pumping the whole 15 litres in in a short period of time because it's given us a, a bad reading for some reason, not going to happen here. If we come into the menu, first thing is buffer added sleep cycles. So if we press OK on that, what happens when you're adding buffer? Obviously, the pH is going to be high and you don't want the acid feeder panicking and pumping in its maximum daily amount straight off and neutralizing it. You need a bit of time. So it actually has a six hour little sleep timer. So when you add buffer, you press menu, press OK, bang, and that's going to put it to sleep for six hours so it won't run. I'll just let that buffer mix into your pool. Then the acid feeder will come back to normal operation, like some cleverness going on here. Next one along. Whoops, I've just started that up. That's OK. We'll press menu. We're putting the time and the date in and pool details. Look at this. You're putting in what size of pool you've got and the surface because this makes a difference when it comes to acid feeding how much what the ph level is all those things again a little pool of fifteen thousand liters you don't put as much in as if you've got a big pool of eighty thousand liters so the unit knows this adjusts its doses just clever just making sense for me quality parts again when you feel the casing it's got a good amount of plasticizer in it this is something that's actually been made with thought and quality yes they are um not cheap I say that, but in comparison to the other acid feeders around there, they are actually cheap, but well made. Anyway, let's go on. Pool details. So you're telling it the size of pool. You've got some more set up if you get in through that. Um, it tells you here the dose history, how much it's dosed altogether in the last 24 hours. What is dosed, you can always check. Last hour, you can have a look and see what it's dosed. Here's your dose limits. You can tell it a maximum for how much it puts in in 24 hours and three days. This changes when you talk about the pool surface and the pool size as to there. And tube maintenance. Yes, 
there's a frictional tube going on here. That's how that pump thing works. So there's a maintenance cycle to replace these again. But the prices aren't anywhere near as expensive and as bad uh, as some other brands out there. So yes, there are moving parts, like most things, that needs to be replaced every year or two. And you can just tell it here when you've changed it. Moving on, this is back to the main screen and pH. As I said, I don't have the probe plugged in. So I'm gonna have an install video for these. I'm gonna go through the procedure of where the different things go and all the rest of it. So have a look at the links in the description of this video. Pool and Spa Supplies Australia, we will be supplying the units through there. And in Melbourne, Nillenbeck Pool and Spa Service, we can put them in for you. We do have installers in other places as well. But as I said, we will have an installation video. So giving you a step-by-step -step if you want to have a go yourself or maybe get your local pool shop or a plumber even. It's cutting pipes and PVC and gluing it. So if you don't want to do that yourself, uh, a plumber can put this in with our install video, telling them where to put it and how to put it. But anyway, happy days. Thought's gone into this. It won't overdose. It's good quality. The parts, the spare parts are not too ridiculously expensive. So finally, Nillibic Pool and Spa Service, Pool and Spa Supplies Australia are recommending an acid feeder because this one isn't going to feed your whole drum of acid in. And it's got really, really excellent field reports from myself and also from other people who have put this in saying really good longevity, good probe reliability and the way to go. So have a look at the link in the description for Pool and Spa Supplies Australia to buy one of these. There'll be a delivered price there to get it out to you and take care of this side. The other thing, I mean, we sell the K-Claw Coronator and the pH mate. These two are fully independent. So when you combine the two in the one unit, if the acid feeder fails, the chlorinator's got to be thrown out when you replace it. Whereas keeping them totally independent and separate like this means if one fails or gets old or breaks or whatever, you can replace that part of it without turfing the coronator as well. So I'm all for having these separate as well. So there you go. Happy days. It's been five or eight years until I found something that I was willing to say, yep, give this a go because I think it's worthwhile. But this is the one.